The continuation of the impeachment trial of the Honorable Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, Renato C. Corona, is hereby called to order. We shall be led in prayer by Senator Vicente C. Soto, the third majority floor leader. Heavenly Father, once again we are privileged to gather in your name, and so we welcome you in our midst. Yes, Father, you are the fountain of every blessing, and we adore you, we love you, and with contrite hearts we offer you these poor hearts of ours. Make us humble, patient, pure, and grant us the grace to be wholly obedient to your will. Grant, Almighty Father, that we may live in you and for you. Grant us your wisdom and your knowledge. Be upon our minds, our lips, and in our hearts. Send forth your Holy Spirit and anoint us with your holy presence and power so that all our thoughts, all our words, and all our actions may only be a reflection of yours. Purify our intentions and motives as we discharge our solemn task of bringing out the truth and rendering justice to all. Fill us with your holy presence and grant us the gift of discernment so that we may be sensitive to the promptings of your Holy Spirit. And finally, Lord, not our will, but yours be done. For you once said that your work is truly the work of your people. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> The Secretary will please call the roll. Honorable Senator Judges Angara, Arroyo, Cayetano Allen Peter Companiero, Cayetano Pia, Defensor Santiago, Drilon, Ejercito Estrada, Escudero, Gingona, Honasan, Laxon, Lapid, Ligarda, Marcos, Osmeña, Pangilinan, Pimentel, Recto, Revilla, Soto, Trillanes, Villar, the Senate President. With uh, 22 senator judges present, the presiding officer declares the presence of a quorum. Just the floor leader. Mr. President, may I ask the sergeant at arms to make the proclamation? The sergeant, sergeant at arms directed to make the proclamation. All persons are commanded to keep silent under pain of penalty while the Senate is sitting in trial on the Articles of Impeachment against Chief Justice Renato C. Corona. Majority Floor Leader. Mr. President, I move that we dispense with the reading of the May 23, 2012 Journal of the Senate sitting as an impeachment court and consider the same as approved. Is there any objection? There being none, the May 23, 2012 Journal of the Senate sitting as an impeachment court is hereby approved. The Secretary will now please call the case before the Senate sitting as an impeachment court. Case number 002-2011 in the matter of impeachment of Chief Justice Renato C. Corona. The floor leader. Mr. President, may we ask the parties uh, to enter their appearances? Mr. Senate President and the Honorable Members of the Senate, good afternoon. On the part of the House of Representatives Prosecution Panel, same appearance. We are ready, Your Honor. Noted. The defense. For the defense, Your Honor, the same appearance. We are ready, Your Honor. Noted. Mr. President. Major Floor Leader. <laughs> Mr. President, before we, uh, before we proceed, we are in receipt of a motion from the prosecution dated May 23, 2012, praying for the actual marking of exhibits which they had uh, previously asked and allowed by the court to be marked as follows. Number one, exhibit 11G, which is the second page of the SPA between Charina Corona, Renato Corona, and Christina Corona. Number two, exhibit 11G1, which is the date of the SPA. Number three, also the prosecution had asked and was allowed to mark Exhibit 178 of the defense, which is the writ of execution in criminal case number Q9606847-8 as their Exhibit 11Q. 
However, it was Exhibit 177A of the defense, which was marked as Exhibit 11Q. The prosecution prays um, for the correction in the markings of Exhibit 11Q. And lastly, the prosecution is requesting that Tax Declaration Number D-056-02564, which was marked as Exhibit 163 of the defense, be likewise marked as evidence for the prosecution. The prosecution submits that they had intended to mark and adopt the same as its own evidence, but inadvertently failed to do so in open court. So uh, I move that the uh, presiding officer rule on the matter. It appearing from the records that the marking of exhibits 11G, 11G1, and 11 Q had been previously allowed by this court. The Senate Legal Counsel and the Deputy Clerk, Deputy Clerk of Court has reported to the court that the exhibits have been marked accordingly with respect to the request that uh, the ex Exhibit 163 of the defense be likewise marked as evidence for the prosecution. This year, the same is hereby granted. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, majority floor leader. Mr. President, the court is now ready for the continuation of the testimony of uh, Chief Justice Renato Sicorona. Is the defense ready to proceed? Your Honor, please, we are ready with him, but may we ask Your Honor for a one-minute recess just to patch him from where he is now, Your Honor. All right. One minute recess to allow the Chief Justice to come to the session hall.